This puppet can kill. His eyes look at the victim who is about to die. But the woman is completely oblivious. She put the puppet on the bed and covered his horrible face with a white sheet. The gas in the kitchen turns on by itself and the woman rushes out. She turned around and saw the white sheet standing up in the bedroom. She cautiously walked over to the white sheet, suddenly lunged at her and covered her whole body. She was blindfolded and a knife kept stabbing the woman. She tries her best to crawl out of the bedroom but dies instantly from her injuries. When Jamie came home, all he saw was a trail of blood. His girlfriend was covered by a white sheet with blood on it. She was laid out on the bed with her mouth open, like the mouth of a puppet when it talks. Jamie couldn't believe that his beloved girlfriend had died like that. He just went out to buy a dinner, and when he came back, he was a murder suspect. No matter how Jamie argued, the police still did not believe that the puppet could kill, but since there was no evidence, Jamie was released. He came home and immediately searched through the puppet box. He found the pattern of Mary Shaw and Billy the puppet on it. This is the same story that Jamie's hometown has passed down. She didn't know who Mary Shaw really was. Jamie rushed home to be greeted by his new stepmother. He doesn't care about that. Jamie's father was violent and three wives in a row couldn't stand him. And Jamie left town because of the shadows of his childhood, no longer in contact with his father. But the stepmother said he would never do that again. Jamie's father had a stroke and is now confined to a wheelchair. He's pale and looks very abnormal. He can't even take care of himself. It relies on his stepmother to feed him. Jamie doesn't have much affection for his father. He left home after fruitless inquiries about Mary Shaw. They all just thought, it was a fictional story to scare the kids. In that evening, Jamie drove Billy to the cemetery with him. On the way, he felt Billy looking at him. But when he looked at Billy, he didn't move. He took Billy back to the grave where he belonged. He came to the motel and the police came with him again. He thought Jamie buried Billy to bury the evidence. Billy is still not buried at his girlfriend's funeral. Jamie meets an old woman who is a bit of a nervous wreck. She mutters repeatedly about burying Billy the puppet. Jamie thinks she must know something. Then Henry, the old woman's husband, comes over and he seems to be afraid of Billy too. They tell the story about Mary Shaw. She's a ventriloquist. She had no children, but treasured the puppet. Once in a show, Mary Shaw was performing with Billy on stage. The publicity for the theater said that Mary Shaw could bring the puppets to life. But the audience was questioning the fact that Billy was not talking. But Mary Shaw's mouth was moving. The scene stood still for a few seconds. And then Mary Shaw's brilliant impromptu performance was applauded by the audience. In the applause, she turned her attention to the young boy who questioned. It wasn't long before the boy disappeared. But the boy's family is very powerful. They suspected Mary Shaw and killed her. But Mary Shaw wasn't quite dead. And she set out on her own revenge. And Jamie is a member of this family. In a small town, there is a nursery rhyme. Beware of the stare from Mary Shaw. She has no children, only puppets. If you see her, don't scream or she'll rip your town out. Mary Shaw's nursery rhyme was the greatest fear of all the town's residents. They don't even dare mention her name because she has cubed more than one person. Every dead person's mouth was made into a strange shape. Everyone else understood that this was his revenge. But Jamie couldn't understand why his girlfriend had been killed. At night, he hears his girlfriend's voice calling him from the motel. He turns on the lights. In the flashing red light, Billy the puppet sits in a chair, but the voice disappears. On the other side, Henry, an employee of the funeral home, was looking for his wife in the passage, but the exit door suddenly closed automatically. He thought his wife was joking with him, but he shouted for half a day but no response. In the darkness, he heard someone calling his name after he shone his flashlight. A pale ghostly hand hid in the darkness. He turned back in fear, but saw Mary Shaw with her mouth wide open. Her white hair was tied in a messy manner, and her eyes and mouth were glowing with a terrible black light, like a demon from hell. He opened his mouth wide and screamed. Mary Shaw's tongue stretched out at a terrible length, cutting his mouth open and pulling out his tongue so that she had the voice of the dead. That night Jamie gets a call from Henry, who asks him to meet him at the puppet theater. Jamie goes there. With a cop in tow, when they got to the place they never saw Henry. Jamie found a book on the ground with the steps of puppet making drawn on it. It was obviously Mary Shaw's notes. She was ready to make a perfect puppet. At that moment Henry's voice came again. Jamie carried the lamp and the police to go forward. On the way they picked up a broken doll and a call from mother. The policeman was shocked. He accidentally ripped open a red cloth. It was covered with many dolls and they were all over the wall. The policeman was so scared that he stepped back. But there was something behind him. He took a light and saw the body of a small child. 
The corners of his mouth were a bit rotten. Jamie guessed that he was the boy who had disappeared. He had been killed by Mary Shaw. Henry's voice came from behind the wall again. The eyes of all the puppets were shifted, and they all look at the place where the voice is coming from. This puppeteer is a pervert. A young boy questioned his puppet's lack of life and was brutally murdered by her. She also made the body into a puppet and fed food for him. After she was killed, she didn't really die. She lived as a ghost in every puppet she made. As long as the dolls are still alive, she will not disappear. For revenge, she aims at Jamie, the last man of the boy's family. In the darkness, Jamie confronts a clown puppet. He knows it's the spirit of Mary Shaw. But it doesn't understand why she would want to kill his girlfriend. The puppet answered him. Because Jamie's girlfriend was pregnant, Mary Shaw would not spare everyone in his family. So the girlfriend was killed by her. The clown puppet gets up and walks towards them. The cop on the sidelines was shocked by the scene. He shot the puppet and broke it. But the puppet in the cupboard next to him comes at them with her mouth wide open and he knocks her back. The cop keeps shooting. Jamie set fire to all the puppets and burned them. He thought that by doing so, Mary Shaw would really die. But Jamie thought of Billy, who hadn't been buried. Mary Shaw was also moving in the darkness. The old puppet theater was in disrepair and the boards were falling in. The policeman fell down. His mouth opens wide and he screams as he watches the female ghost lunch at him. Mary Shaw cut out his tongue with satisfaction. Then she started to attack Jamie. But Jamie remembers the advice not to scream and he covers his mouth. Jamie returns home and finds Billy. That's when Mary Shaw came at him. He hurriedly threw Billy into the fireplace, and the puppet was engulfed in flames. Mary Shaw also let out a wail of pain. Finally all the sound stopped. Jamie thought it was over too. He turns around, and his father in a wheelchair appears. Jamie calls out to him, and it doesn't respond. He slowly approached, and it still didn't respond. Suddenly his head was hanging down like a corpse. Jamie rushed over to check the situation, but found that his father's abdominal cavity was empty and only a piece of wood was standing to support his flesh. The father was dead, and he had been made into a puppet. That's when the stepmother came over, and she was the last puppet. She was the most perfect puppet of Mary Shaw, no different from the real person. All these days, she was controlling Jamie's father's behavior. Her performance was so realistic that Jamie didn't notice that her father had been turned into a puppet. Now she was standing in front of Jamie. The stepmother mocked Jamie with a grim face her face changing to that of Mary Shaw. Jamie screams in pain, and he loses his life. Mary Shaw has finally accomplished her revenge. When there is a puppet in front of you, can you tell the difference between real and fake?